Yo everyone, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 3 and we got a rocket launcher, or not a rocket launcher, but it is actually a rocket propelled grenade launcher called the RPG-7. And no it is not a rocket, it is a grenade launcher, technically speaking. Now you want to get in here and just shoot this guy out into bloody hell. Yeah, I don't even care if I get an alert, because it's just funny just shooting him down like that. <clears throat> eh, whatever, it was fun. I don't care. Ooh, who's gonna come after me? <clears throat> I don't think anybody's gonna come out through here, anyway. Holy shit, that sounded close. Oh. Well, we're just gonna keep on going through here. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry guys, my throat is kind of feeling weird, but... You know, it's that time of the season again. Oh jeez. It's harder to snipe people when you're in caution. There we go. Hmm, let's rearrange everything here. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what we want. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess I could blow up that barrel, but I don't think now is a good time. Now, there was a guy over there, but I don't know where he went. <clears throat> Damn it. Oh, here's one. Alright. Racking up on these headshots. Oh, shit, I missed him. Shit. Shit! Oh, come on. Get up the hill, snake. What's wrong? Funny thing is, even if you stand up in the middle of everything, that helicopter won't be able to see you. It's pretty funny. <clears throat> Alright, he'll get back up. There he is. That was the radio man, too, I think. Up, oh, up. Oh, oh, shit. That's the second time I missed you. Actually, it's the third time. Uh... It's probably that one dude left, too, over there someplace. There you are. <clears throat> Alright. Now we can move on to this shit. Oh, and we have a very, very long cutscene, by the way, so I will probably not be talking during it, because... Right now, I just want to, like, not talk during any of the cutscenes in this game, because... Well, I personally enjoy watching them, so... Yeah. I mean, in the ones of Metal Gear Solid 4, it was kind of like, you know, Snake and, Oc Snake and Ocelot dicking around half the time, you know? It's like, I could have gotten away with saying a few things, you know, a little funny anecdotes and stuff like that, but here in this game, it's kind of different. That door that you just saw, we won't be going into until later. Namely, after these cutscenes, but right now... Let's shag this soldier over here. Mark 22, and there's a weapon shack. Ooh, claymores. Well, now that we're in the weapon shack, you guys know what to do. TNT this bitch. Come on. Oh, oh nice. That was pretty funny. Oh, well. Um...
Alright. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Let's see what's down in here. I think it's medic supplies. Yep. I stole your medical supplies. Mwahaha. <laughs> Hmm. Ooh. That helicopter sound does remind me of Vietnam a little bit. <clears throat> well, it doesn't remind me of Vietnam. Obviously, it wasn't in that war, but every single Vietnam movie that I've watched, and like v Vietnam documentaries, I'd always hear that helicopter sound. That's what it reminds me of, anyway. Alright, so here is a cutscene, and I will see you guys probably in the next episode or something. So, enjoy. Well, that was quick. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be fine. It's just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep. Where'd you get those cuts? The Colonel. He found out? If he knew, I'd be dead already. No, this is his hobby. He's a sadist. He gets pleasure out of making people suffer. He's scum. <laughs> Does it look that strange to you? No. I'm the same way. Scars all over. Can I see? No. Where'd you get this one? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Code breaking is a desk job. Where'd you get this kind of scar? You really want to know? Hmm. Well, too bad. Hmm. A girl's gotta have some secrets, you know. But enough about that. You've gotta get going. The Phase 2 trial of the Shagohot is about to start, and it looks like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev? His forces are on their way here. The Colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. Once you're in there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. And take this too. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. It's good to eat some real food once in a while. I'll bet if I kissed you, you'd taste like a wild beast. Do you know where exactly in Groznygrad Sokolov is located? He's in the heart of the fortress, the weapons lab. The weapons lab is divided into three wings. There's the east wing, which houses the research facilities. Then there's the main wing where the weapons are assembled. That's where the Shagohot is. Finally, there's the West Wing, which is connected via a passageway to the main building. That's where Sokolov is. To get in, you'll have to enter the main wing from the East Wing. Then, go through the passageway on the second floor of the main wing. The West Wing of the Weapons Lab. Got it. There's just one problem. Not again. The West Wing is protected by the highest level of security. You need to be Colonel Class to get in. Colonel Class? Here, look at this picture. Major Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. Pretend you're him. How do I do that?
steal his clothes. You look similar from behind, they won't know the difference. Your face might be a problem, so you just have to figure something out. He should be somewhere in the East Wing. All right. But how am I supposed to escape once I get Sokolov out of there? Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. I hid a wig there. A wig? <laughs> 